In this video, I want to code a trading strategy, step by step, using PineScript, for 5 minute time frame so that it is profitable in the long term backtest of at least 1 year. I believe that backtesting should be motion free, and long term, so I use PineScript strategy backtesting, for a period of 1 year. So let's go to code this strategy in PineScript. In the list of indicators, I type squeeze, and then select squeeze momentum indicator, by Lazy Bear. I choose a cryptocurrency, and for this strategy I choose Rune, and go to the 5 minute time frame. In the squeeze momentum indicator, red and green histograms show the price movement. Black crosses mean squeeze on, and grey crosses mean squeeze released. The first grey dot shows the trade entry. So we enter a long position, when we see the first grey dot, the histogram color is red, and the histogram bars are getting shorter. And when we see the first grey dot, the histogram color is green, and the histogram bars are getting shorter, we enter a short position. This indicator is open source, so I use its source in the strategy. The PineScript version used in this source is low, so I need to upgrade it to the latest version of PineScript. I have to remove the extra spaces in the lines of source, to fix the errors. The version of PineScript used in this source is version 3, and I have to first convert it to version 4, and then to version 5. You can see the steps of converting the PineScript version of the source code. After this, I copy the source code, and create a new strategy. There is no need to plot the indicator on the chart, so I comment these two lines. I need to change the conditions for entering long and short positions. The val variable is actually the indicator bars, and I use this variable to enter trades. We enter a long position, when the indicator bars are rising. This means that the current bar should be shorter than the previous bar. And also the bar's color should be red. And the squeeze must be off. Similarly, when the current bar is smaller than the previous one, and the bars are green, and the squeeze is off, we enter the short positions. After I coded the entry conditions, and tested the strategy, we can see that the profit chart is completely red and going down. We are on a 5 minute time frame, so I need to change the strategy settings to suit this time frame. I change the KC length to 90 and the KC multi-factor to 5. With these changes, the profit chart becomes much better than before. In the one year deep back test, 
the profit chart is also upward, but it can be better. I make changes in the source. I change the type of moving average as you can see. The profit chart gets better. It also gets better in the one year deep practice. Can I make it even better? So far I have only used one indicator. Now I want to add another indicator to the calculations. From the list of indicators, I choose Stochastic. I want to add this indicator to the strategy, so I copy its source code, and add it to the source code of the strategy. Now, in addition to the previous conditions, I enter a long position when D line is greater than 50, and K line is greater than D line. And similarly, in addition to the previous conditions, I enter a short trade when D line is smaller than 50, and K line is smaller than D line. After these changes, we see that the profit chart has improved a lot in the short term. And when I do a deep backtest in the one year period, I see that the one year profit chart is better than before. I change the default settings of stochastic. I change K length to 30, K smoothing to 5 and D smoothing to 5. Again, the profit chart gets better, both in the short term and in the long term. From the strategy settings section, in the properties section, I change the order size to 5% of the equity. I also change the pyramiding to zero, so the strategy cannot add to existing positions. Now we can see the backtest results clearly. The profit chart is green and rising during one year, and there are no sharp drops along the way. Also, in these last months, the slope of the profit graph has increased a lot. Well, so far we have considered the commission rate to be zero. Now, if I add the trading commission to the calculations, what changes will be made in the profit chart? I change the commission to 0.04%. We see that the profit graph is still rising nicely, both in the short term and in the long term, and that's great. Here we managed to code a trading strategy with Pine Script, so that it has a good result both in the short term and in the long term. We have improved the strategy settings and conditions to entering positions, for one cryptocurrency and in one time frame. This strategy with these settings may not work well for other cryptocurrencies, and in other time frames. Definitely, other settings are required for other cryptocurrencies, because the behavior of cryptocurrencies is not similar to each other. Will this strategy behave in the future as well as in the past? We don't know. We cannot say that because it worked well in the past, it must work well in the future. This was just a study on how to code a trading strategy in Pine Script, and continuously improve it for better performance. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and click on bell icon, to stay tuned.